There is a place in Atlanta where hope lives. Where love is still patient and kind and extending mercy is common practice. It feels better than what it was before. Unknowingly, thousands of Georgians pass by going to and from downtown Atlanta every day. I believe in what we do here. We improve the life of people that no one cares about. And we don't walk away from them, we walk towards them. And we say, how can we help you? Do you know that we can help you feel better? I'm gonna grab some kits at the back. 128 volunteers and another 120 staff members strong St. Joseph's Mercy Care Services was founded in 1985 by doctors and nurses who armed with tackle boxes full of medical supplies went into downtown Atlanta with a shared vision of treating the city's poor and indigent. Well, I think every moment demands its own courage and I think every moment has its own grace. So what was begun on, a, on a, an informal basis but very serious and passionate effort became a formal opportunity by the uh, emergence and, and the uh, founding of Mercy Care. Outside its four physical locations, Mercy Care is community outreach in its purest form. Daddy, how you doing? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. Oh, I had put you on the list for that, that clothing thing. I didn't yeah, hear nothing back from you. Every day, staff and volunteers seek out those living on the streets to offer them medical and dental care, education, and social services. My outreach is very important because there are so many underserved people, homeless people, poor people, needed people, especially the ones that's under the bridges and in the woods. Um, they really don't know where to go, who to reach out to. And at a time when unemployment is high and job security low, the demands on Mercy Care are growing. You could become them with the loss of your job, with the mental health issue, with a drug addiction. So you learn very quickly by just listening to their stories, asking them questions, looking them in the face, and looking them in the eyes. And you realize that this could be me, and that's where my dedication comes from. Rick's Anderson, facilities manager at St. Joseph's Mercy Care, was one of them. I was married, I had finished college, I went to seminary, and I had finished law school. Didn't take the bar exam, but I graduated from DePaul University Law School and got strung out on cocaine. And it was all downhill from there. Lost everything and end up on the streets. It can happen to anybody. Having spent a decade on the streets, Anderson's mission is to make those anybodies who arrive at Mercy Care feel as though he or she is somebody important and worthwhile. And if it can be done for me, it can be done for anybody. And, and I know, I have hope that with the right connection and, and with the right people and the right support, which I got also, people can turn, them, turn their lives around. And that's what St. Joseph Mercy Care provides, a safe place to give people hope. And so in this place, along an unlikely stretch of city pavement, hope lives and ambassadors of mercy continue their work to always protect and persevere. Knowing their love must never fail.